Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Parshala. My name is Manindra Tavar. Today we will discuss about AWS Workspaces. So what is AWS Workspaces? AWS Workspaces are a replacement of traditional desktop that employees are using in offices. You can create a workspace that is virtual desktop in AWS. In this video, we will discuss about the creation process of AWS Workspaces. What are the steps to create an AWS workspace and how we can log in in our virtual desktops? So let's get started. First of all, you have to log in in your AWS console. Just type workspaces in search bar. So here are the steps before creating a workspace. We need to set up a directory in our AWS. You can use your existing directory whatever you are using on-prem active directory or microsoft azure active directory you can use it after integrating it here or you can create a new one in aws itself once your directory is ready and registered with aws then you can create the workspace after creating workspaces we will discuss about to access the workspaces let's go to the first step now directory creation So as I told you, you can use your existing Active Directory and integrate it via using AD connector. So I'm creating a new directory. You can select the addition as per your requirement. Here you can see in standard edition, we will get one GB of storage and it can handle up to 30,000 users. In enterprise edition, it can, it can optimize five lakhs object and you will get 17 GB of storage. So I'm going with standard edition. Organization name you have to give it here, like Cloud Partshala. Here you have to give your DNS name. That is, I'm giving cloudpartshala.com, like a domain name for your directory. Admin password. The rest other parameters are optional. You can keep it blank click on next here you have to select minimum two subnets for redundancy so i have selected two subnets let's create next this is the pricing for standard edition and you will get the 30 days trial in for standard edition click on create directory it will start creating your directory but it takes some time like 30 minutes or 40 minutes i am already having a directory created here so i'll use the existing directory so i'm deleting this one once your directory is created here you will get the option of register i have already registered it that's the reason i'm getting a deregister option here once your directory is registered go to the workspaces create a workspace select our directory which is registered click on next here for vdis or workspaces we have to we have to provide the access of any virtual desktop to a user like in offices we assign a desktop to a user similarly we need to assign this workspace to particular user so for this virtual desktop i'm creating a user that's aws test so user has been created you can create as many users as you want in your directory okay i'm going with this one next and here are the bundles which os you want for your workspace here i can see some free tier os i'll select this one standard with windows 10 server 2019 based once the os is selected click on next so there are two modes one is auto stop and one is always on if you are selecting always on then you will get the bill for 24 7 running hours if you select auto stop how auto stop works if a user is 
trying to log in the system then it will automatically start the workspace once your work is done and your virtual desktop is idle then it will automatically shut down so i'm going with auto stop option click on next next user we have already selected let's create it will take some time workspace is ready let's log in in this workspace go to your client this is our workspace client that we have just installed okay when you first time install this you have to copy your register code here register it here once it is registered you can use your username and password to log in in your workspace so we have created aws test user let's see the password you can see our workspace is launching let's wait for one or two minutes it will allow us to work on that workspace okay now we are connected to our workspace here we are we are logging in our workspace now we can start our regular work that's all for today's video we'll connect in next video with new interesting topic thank you guys